Talking Tech is supported by LinkedIn. LinkedIn Jobs makes it easy to find and hire the best candidates. To get your first job post free, just visit linkedin.com slash USA Tech. Again, that's linkedin.com slash USA Tech to post your first job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Hey there, listeners. It's Brett Molina. And I'm Mike Schneider, and welcome back to Talking Tech. Brett, you remember back in 2017 when Nintendo Switch launched and it had what were considered kind of cartoonish HD games while the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were targeting 4K potential. Well, the Switch has done pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. It reminds me of the Wii because it was doing something really unique in games that hadn't been done. And that's part of the reason why it's so popular. In fact, the Switch is still going strong. And it's expected to surpass the Nintendo Wii in sales at 101.6 million within the next year as Nintendo's best selling home system. Uh, the Switch is expected to top 110 million. And it could see even more because right now there's no announced successor to the Switch, even though there's been a lot of speculation in recent months that there might be an updated Switch, maybe called a Switch Pro with new capabilities or a new system altogether. Um, but you know, I'm not sure if you know this, it kind of snuck up on me, but the Switch has been the top selling video game console in the U.S. for the past 30 months, according to the research firm, the NPD Group. That's two and a half years. That surpasses the previous longest streak of 21 months held by the Xbox 360. Now, we had several stories during the pandemic about the Switch and Animal Crossing New Horizons and how that game served as not only a diversion, but also a critical communications channel for kids and families over the past year plus. And other games have been big sellers with games uh, on the Switch, accounting for half of NPD's May top 20 best-selling games. And beyond that, three of the year's top 10 sellers so far are Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Minecraft. Uh, but I talked to Nintendo of America president Doug Bowser after E3, and he said the, games, the game company's focus really has been to send a message that, that there's a solid pipeline of games to come for the Switch. And just out now, uh, just a few days ago on Friday, is Mario Golf Super Rush, uh, which is a game I'm looking forward to playing, uh, and maybe I'll deliver a scorecard on that game in the days ahead. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one too. Another one that's really piqued my interest is Metroid Dread, which comes out on October 8th. And it's the first side-scrolling version of Metroid in close to 20 years, I think. Um, everyone knows if you played on the original Nintendo Entertainment System, that's kind of been Metroid from the beginning is this side scrolling adventure. And so I'm really interested to see what it looks like when it makes its comeback is Metroid Dread. Um, there's also other stuff coming too in 2022. Of course, we have the arrival of a sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is another huge hit for the Switch. Um, also out on Friday, a remastered reissue of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. With, along with Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, which is due July 9th. A demo of that Monster Hunter game is out uh, on Friday. We're also going to get a remastered version of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, which comes out July 16th. And of course, there's lots of other stuff in the pipeline. I mentioned Metroid in October. In September, on September 10th, we get WarioWare Get It Together, which is a game for two players to complete a section of mini games. I think I remember one where you had to shave someone's underarms. It's a little crazy. Um, and then November brings Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, which are remasters of the Nintendo DS originals. So plenty of things to keep Nintendo Switch folks busy. You know, it's funny. I actually just finally bought a Switch. Um, I had tried to buy one during the pandemic and just got I, it became fruit. I, I gave up because it was so hard to get one. That I'm like, oh, I'll just I'll just watch TV um, because I thought my wife might like Animal Crossing and. I didn't get one originally when the system launched because we were kind of here at USA Today kind of taking me off of games and putting me on, I don't know, earnings reports or whatever. So, um, but listeners, let's hear from you. Um, what do you think about the Nintendo Switch? Any uh, thoughts on games to come? Any other questions or show ideas? You could find me on Twitter at Mike Snyder. And I'm at Brett Molina 23. Please don't forget to subscribe and rate us. We'll leave a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, anywhere you get your podcasts. You've been listening to Talking Tech. We'll be back tomorrow with another quick hit from the world of tech. We get support from LinkedIn. Today, many small business owners are busier than ever. 
because they're focused on managing and growing their business, they can't always spend the time they wish they could on recruiting. But you know as well as I do that a good team makes all the difference. That's why LinkedIn Jobs has made it easier to find and hire the best candidates for free. Get started by posting your job for free to reach LinkedIn's network of 740 million professionals. Fill out targeted screening questions to get your role in front of the most qualified candidates with the experience, skills, and motivation you need. Then use simple tools to filter and prioritize the top candidates you'd like to interview. LinkedIn Jobs will help you hire the right person for your role. And your first job post is free. Just visit linkedin.com slash USA Tech. Again, that's linkedin.com slash USA Tech to post your first job for free. Terms and conditions apply.